Oh, he is. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Welcome back folks, this is Don from Don's Fish Adventures. If you're new to the show, welcome. I'm a local fisher here in Perth, Western Australia, and I'm just out here in the Swan River. Charlie for Taylor. I used to go in the afternoon, so I thought I'd try it in the morning. So, uh, fingers crossed, let's get a couple, and uh, we'll have a good show tonight. Okay, we're on. Hopefully, I can get to the land. With a bit of fall, oh, and he spat the hook. <laughs> what a bugger. I'm using small lures thinking, oh, yeah, they'll be alright, but they're just spitting them. But, uh,. <laughs> Been long over due, I'm all the way down here in front of the casino. Thinking there might be a couple out here, and yep, on a small one. It's just nothing more exciting than seeing your right go off on the lure on the troll. That's not a bad size one, is it? Look at that. Oh, he, he just he just threw up his breakfast. So he's been chewing on live bait, and I'm trying to imitate that with this lure here. It's a duo. I've had, I've had great success with this. A friend of mine gave it to me the other day, and uh, that there, that's a fine specimen of a tailor. It's really a tailor. Love it. Oh, and the other lures I fish. Oh. I've got something decent here, maybe on the bottom. Might have a fish. I think it's a fish. A crab. A crab trolling a lure. Yeah. <laughs> Never ever in my life has that happened. I mean, I've caught on vibes and other stuff, but that there is just <laughs> amazing. There's no way I would have thought this would happen. Anyway, I'm going to release this guy because he's too small, but I'll take a quick photo because that there is, is unbelievable. Oh, well, I'm going to love it. It looks like we're on. Surprisingly. And he's got a, got a bit of a backbone to it. Which is good. Ooh. Right on the bottom. Oh, it's a tailor. Oh, he's been foul hooked. He's a good size one too. Oh, that there is a nice one. For some reason, I end up catching with it and get it out of the sun. I end up catching the big ones, foul hook right on the right on the noggin. Get it out of the sun. But that there is a that's a nice tailor. And that's what I've been trying to chase. Some good size ones. So that's beauty. Poor bloke's been hit a few times on the lure and he's definitely a keeper. I'll measure him up. But that there is good. 32 centimetres. That's just beautiful. This island, it's in the middle of the river, it's called Harrison Island. And as you come around it, you get to see this view.
just saw the rod bending over and it is a fish and I think I've uh, let's hope I don't get tangled up oh and he spat it he spat it <laughs> chap came up to me quite pleasant and says look because that's a skiing area it's actually totally closed to all boats I just assume there's those markers and you keep I mean I was away, well away but he says no close to navigation during the skiing area so I remember that I, I didn't know um, yeah ignorance is not an excuse however you know a few signs would have been alright I mean I've got a few charts but lesson learned Righto, so hopefully uh, we can get the land this one. It's been a bit lean, but still have his eyes. Oh, it's a good size. Really good size. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. How about that? Beautiful. Not bad size, that one. Very feisty, very hungry. Love it. the measure and he found the drink. Right, that's alright, that's alright. Oh there he is, here he is. Alright. Okay, it feels good. It's wind. Hopefully that boat goes the other way. There he is right there. Nice tailor again. Good size. Don't know if I found him again. Let's see if I can get him on the boat. Oh, good size. Good size. Lovely tailor. Again. And that's how you do it. What a lovely day. Yeah, another keeper. Got it, got it, love it. Rules are so quiet. Just see that buckle. Oh, and he's come off. Yee. <laughs> off his sign to uh, head back. Right, so I'm just trolling back into base. Thinking, oh, what's going on around here? So we're way upstream now. And yeah, Taylor's still around the place. I mean, it just shows how healthy this place is. It's only a small one. There we go. So you're yeah, really surprised. And the water is really rusty colour too, so I don't know, I mean I'm just amazed these fish come up all the way upstream here. There's so much ocean out there but they still manage to come up here. Great fun, absolutely fun. This one is a small one. Check them out again. Way undersized, and uh, I might sign off on that note. I've got those three keepers. I'll try and do a, a catch and cook, as per usual, but uh, absolutely love it. Right. <laughs> oh, this one's foul hook. This is, this is pretty heavy, this one. He's all the way on the other side of the boat there. Just on the way back to the ramp. I'm just curious how far these tailor go up stream. There he is. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! He actually bit me off from the lure. Now, that is shocking. Bargain, it was a good size. 
Oh, I feel sorry for the uh, for the tailor because now he's got a bit of bling in his mouth. But that lure. All right, just get out of here. All right, so we got these lovely three tailors. <coughs> I do confess these are frozen. The footage on the other one I did nice and fresh just didn't come out. No audio, so I'm just gonna cook it up and uh, fillet it. Then we're going to put them on the fry pan for a bit of breadcrumbs. Nice and beautiful fried up. That's a good size, that one. Alright, so I've, I've lightly patted these fillets into the flour. Into a bit of an egg, egg mix. Just one egg, whipped up. Straight into the breadcrumbs. Give it a nice crunchy taste to it. There you go. And then straight into the oil. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I'll do the others and then uh, show you the quick taste this later on. Stuck into it. Mmm. Really nice. Even though it was frozen, I told you why. Because actually, it still tastes pretty good. The frost that cooked it up, lemon juice. Absolutely superb. Mmm. Anyway, you know what to do if you like the show. Hit me head, subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.